Hello guys, Susanna here. Um, I'm just coming on today to show you, um, which you've probably already seen, Corinne's, the um, prompt that we're doing for the month of May, which is poppies. I'll show you the little picture in my my um, thing. Where are we? The Shirley Poppy Fairy. So here is the photocopy picture from this book that I really love. Um, there's actually a couple of poppies in here. Um, really, really, really love it. Some of the bits and pieces. I've got it there, but that's the main one that I really like. And then we've got the poppy that I really liked on here which was the sort of oriental poppy. So you can get, I really like these. And then, I think there's, I'll have a look, show you the poppy. There's a page where, uh, poppy 92. Okay. Nope. Next page. <sighs> okay. There it is. So it's got those beautiful ready burnty orange type colours in there, which is nice. So we've got that. So what I have got, I had a apron that had um, like a Semco design with aprons and it had poppies and everything on there. So here's the piece. Here's the pansy. So we've sort of, you know, worked on the, the roses part, which I'm at where I'm at. And then I'm now going back. Did you hear that? I thought I heard mum. <laughs> um, yeah, it went back and, um, Lost my train of thought. <laughs> uh, okay, okay. Back again. <laughs> Sorry about that. Oh, I've just completely lost my train of thought. Anyway, yeah, so. Um, and I just went out and checked if, if but that I'm hearing voices. I'm going mad, I tell you. Anyway, um, so we did the pansies. And like I'm saying, it, we're doing it clockwork. The clock, you know, here's the pansies and here's the cherry blossoms. So I've got some fabrics and I put them in there and I've pinned them like um, um stitched them down. Um, so I've gotten these other poppies that were in this, the Semco, they were the pockets. And I think they go rather nicely here. And I know what I've got for here. And I thought I'll just stick to a sort of fairly neutral green colour for that one when it comes around again. Um, and I've got this pinned here because I wanted it to sort of blend in a little bit with this, this lot too. So I've got... Um, I think I've got a few more... I, I, uh, Joanne from the retreat um, had these little flowers all cut out and so I'm like the colour just goes really well not really poppies but I just like the colour so um, here's the word poppies I could probably put that there but what I want to do too is I quite like these and maybe with some of this leftover fabric piece because it's a calico that I've got on here maybe I can draw one of those because it needs a bit of something so this was on there and I've already painted it and it had um, stitching and everything already done on there which I may unpick because I'm going to need to re-stitch that 
because that's what's going to be holding that down. Unless I just do little stitching around the outside. I'd like to get as close as I possibly can. But then at the same token, be a bit careful. I just don't want to have flies fix on there. Um, <clears throat> as you can tell, I've still got this horrible cold and this is why I am late. I was actually coming on here to um, just, you know, say I'm, I would like to have some time off um, because uh, I just haven't been, I'm really behind on my videos and I haven't, um, you know, I just haven't had the energy <laughs> um, and my cold which I thought was a cold, um, turns out it is COVID because I tested myself because I was still feeling really yucky. It's sort of like, you know, feeling really good and then um, went back to feeling yucky again. So tested and yes, it's the old dreaded COVID. Not as bad as the, you know, the first strains that were out, but pretty yuck nonetheless. So... Um, that's where I'm at with this. I've got a few bits and pieces here that I thought the colour just goes. It looks really nice because poppies are red. There was another piece here that I was thinking might work really well too. Maybe, you know, have a yo-yo or something. I've got this piece here because it's got this blue in there. Um, it might work. Let me see where we're at. Okay, we have it in. So what I'm going to do at this point, that's been sewn underneath there, whether I put it over the top. I think I might put it there. I could probably put it there and just have that there. I think that's really cute. I don't know why, it doesn't even look like a poppy, but it just looks really pretty. <coughs> and whether I want to keep a white poppy because with poppies are different colors I don't know I think I should for now I've got this as well and I've also got because it it's bringing it all in together and I really like lavender isn't actually a um, on the list but it's a nice filler and I was going to put that in there which actually suits um, sort of fills it in a little bit and then I will probably it's like an extra flower prompt the color matches this color here really well so that may very well go there what else have we got i do like this I do okay we'll stick to this i just can't think straight i'm feeling so tired um i was actually going to come on here and just say you know having a break see you in a month <laughs> That's how crappy I'm feeling. Oh my goodness, it's terrible. But I've got this and I've got my calendar to do. And I suppose like with anything, sometimes you just need a bit of annual leave. You need some time to do your own thing. And um, we've got the, the house on the market and it's just going so badly. But I've just talked to my um, conveyancer solicitor 
and um, she says it's just really bad everywhere. Things are really slowing down and, um, you know, people aren't really buying. I mean, we've had three open houses. The first one was after two days admittedly and there was one person at that and nobody, nobody has shown up to any of them. <laughs> it's so disheartening. Um, but the worst part is you think, okay, well, do we make it work and anything? But you've invested money already into it. So we have to pay the solicitor's fees and we don't have to pay agent's fees, but we have to pay advertising fees, which is already $3,000. So it's just a waste if you don't go ahead. But in the meantime, you, you, oh, it's just awful. So, um, yeah, we'll just have to wait and see because the market is really slowed down and people are just not even turning up to open houses, let alone putting in any offers. So, um, yeah, not great. So I hope Corinne doesn't have the same problem in Queensland because it's not much fun because she's in a new house and um, has currently got her other house on the market. And, hmm. Okay. Um, yeah. Oh my goodness, I am just feeling terrible. Just cannot get motivated. Yeah. Um. <sighs> I don't know. Maybe just leave it at that. You're sort of seeing where I'm going. I might do some filming when I feel a bit better. <laughs> oh, it's shocking. Oh, a lot. Not only am I um, physically flat, <laughs> emotionally flat as well. Um. Yeah. No, I kind. I kind of like that there. Maybe do a, um, I don't know. I really do want to do one of these. It would be really nice. So maybe have one sitting out there. I just can't think. So this is a very depressing um, video, isn't it? <laughs> hmm. What I should probably do is maybe start by stitching, stitching some of these down. I do like that there, but that might have to wait. Um, okay. Make a start there, Susanna. Yeah, when you when you've got a cold, well, COVID, you just have brain fog. You can't think, and the last thing you want to do is do any stitching. So I'm so behind; it's just crazy. And I've got the the deer for the calendar you know, that I'm supposed to be doing for tomorrow, and I can't see that happening. <sighs> so this might be, um, well, this is the start of the, you know, the poppies, and um, I'll be I'll be back on when I'm feeling a little bit. <laughs> oh, my goodness, I've had a bit of a bad run. I reckon that'll do, and then I want to wouldn't mind having a something in Iring Weather. I put that there, I quite like it. Looks nice. So for now, I might just get 
this and maybe stitch that down. <clears throat> with the 1% of energy I have right now. So at least I don't have to plow through the Veliza fix like I had to with the, the roses. I don't know about this. It looks good there, but I'm not sure it's going to match the new, the prompt that I know is going to go there because it's mainly sort of like a, a greeny yellowy base and I'm not going to be too yellow. I'll see how I go. Leave that off. Okay. I've got some of this. I might have some pins. There's a lot of white on there and it, which has made it quite thick. Um, paint wise, it's been done with um, watercolour but Go here, get my little friend. this one first I think. I'll start it here. All I'm gonna do is a slip stitch. To uh, get it held down. I'll have to put it fairly close together. down. Well, at least I've got um, four weeks to get this finished. More likely to get this finished than the, what, the roses because it's going to be a bit easier to stitch through. So at least if we do this, it's a start. And hopefully, I might be all right by next week. See how I go this afternoon. I might make a start on the on the calendar as well, so that that can be up for tomorrow. Okay. At least talking to my um, conveyancer today has made me feel a little better because uh, it's, you know, she said at the moment it's just really bad everywhere. People, you know, the houses aren't selling and people are holding off buying. So oh, that made me feel a little better. I'm like, well, it's not just my house. Goodness. Because it's calico. Look at it, see how it's all fray. 
Okay. Oh my goodness, this, this feels terrible. So, you probably don't want to be sewing along with me today. But um, I'm, I have been looking on the Facebook page, seeing how everybody's, um, you know, botanical beauties are going. They're looking pretty good. Okay. We've moved stuff around in my, in my kitchen area so that I can, um, have my son moving back in here because we've got to do that probably in about a month he's coming home and um we moved we have to move the pantry back to where it was and the fridge in the corner just so that this desk here will fit in that area um and i don't know whether it's because we've moved the fridge or whatever it is but it's really noisy <laughs> i mean the poor old fridge is about you know 28 nearly 30 years old so that's pretty good going for a fridge these days so um maybe it's just settling in its new place i suppose but it um it has moments where it's just like really loud and i'm like oh i don't know how that would go when i'm doing filming it's going to be quite loud <laughs> so um, and it's good when it's not making the noise, but then it starts making the noise very suddenly. So I'd probably have to do filming and then, you know, pause it. <laughs> and, uh, and then, you know, start up again once the noise has stopped. And then you've got the noise of the heater, and then if the dishwasher is on, or the oh, washing machine, yeah. A lot more noises inside the house. Just a, a reminder of why we were wanting to move, because I didn't want to have to deal with that. It's looking, it's like, see, it's really fray. Okay. Get them back down. So, next week might be a bit more exciting because I'll probably start filling in some, um, some of that so I'll, I'll probably go around this in a creamy color um, and just make it white and then the insides I may end up unpicking this I'm thinking that's the stitching that was already on there because it's a you know a piece that I found so yes look how far are we I might yeah 21 minutes and then the video that I did before too so I might leave it at that um, and hopefully next week I'll be feeling better <laughs> and have a little bit more done in between. I like that. Okay, guys, um, sorry for this doom and gloom video and I'll, um, I'll catch you, um, hoping tomorrow. If not, um, you know, it'll be a later video. So I'm hoping that I will have, um, the video out because it, um yeah um but it's the it's the deer and um both the poppies and the calendar <clears throat> um corinne's working on as well so i'll just have to play catch up for now um or even just um yeah just wait until i'm a little bit better and film behind the scenes and play catch up okay guys i'll catch you later thanks for watching bye